It's really the decomposition of up to 7,000 plants that decompose over a long period of time. And the mountain pressurizes this stuff and it leaks down in. And during the summertime in the Himalayan mountains, they compress and this black ooze comes out of the rock. And that's what the shilajit is. And then we compress it again and concentrate it. That's right. With our process, we concentrate it, but we also have the zeolites in here, and zeolites are the only compound known that will absorb nanoparticles. I didn't realize how big of an issue this is, but not only nanoparticles, different types of toxic man-made chemicals, phthalates, all this stuff. I, what I tried to do with Deep Cleanse was put a lymphatic cleansing herb in there, put a liver cleansing herb in there, a blood cleansing herb in there, a chemical by a couple different uh, ingredients in there. That we should have called on. it total cleanse, but deep cleanse is a good name. Well, deep cleanse because it really has to go deep into the cells. And that's another thing with these, uh, these nanoparticles. They actually go through the cell wall. And we'll talk a little bit about that later. But that's why it's so important to utilize cleansing on a regular basis and Make sure you're eating the proper foods, repair your liver, cleanse your blood, all that stuff so you can have the strong body you need moving forward. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. Dr. Group is our guest. I see you're looking for the camera. The camera you're on is four. 800-259-9231. Uh, it's like being interrogated here with the lights. I know, well, usually you have the red light on over there. So. Absolutely. Something's <laughs> different today. Uh, we'll be back. Deep Cleanse now available. Thanks for the support. All right. We're going to start the next hour and really plow through nanotech and what it's doing. If you're a new listener, we have produced game-changing, I don't know, two-thirds of the InfoWars Life products, Dr. Groups developed and manufactured or helped us work with the top laboratories in the country. Like we go put out a colloidal silver, we consult with him, or when we go and we put out one of our other products, we consult with him. But a lot of the products he himself puts out and uh, some of the products he doppelgangs and puts out you know, through his company, Global Healing Center, not Deep Cleanse. This is totally proprietary to InfoWarsLife.com. One of the other products that obviously he invented over a decade ago that's used in Hollywood, been written up in national news, is Oxy Powder. What a game changer. Uh, everybody gives this five-star reviews I've seen. You take this for six days at night, flushes out your upper and lower intestine, unlike anything you've ever seen. It is simply amazing. Rob Dew in one week lost 12 pounds. He's not in bad shape. Mm -hmm. he, he plays basketball. He was he had a scholarship for basketball, you know, in college. He's a good basketball player. He's on, you know, six four. And uh he says he feels like he's a young man again with super male vitality, uh, the X2 and the Oxy powder. He hadn't done the deep cleanse yet. I have, and it's simply amazing with my lifestyle, what it's done, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And before you go today, I'll read a few reviews and go through all the ingredients in it. But stopping there, give us in the four minutes we have left a little preview of what is a bigger threat than even GMO, the next level and how prolific this is. Nanotech on our food. Tell us about this so-called science. Well, it's called ENMs, Engineered Nano Materials. Oh, yummy. And basically, the way that the big companies are looking at this is they can use these nanoparticles to incorporate flavors, compounds, uh, basically anything, plastics, phthalates, uh, metals to use for flavor enhancement, to use for uh, beverages. You, so in other words, you can modify food or for that matter, even create man-made foods. It's, it's kind of a whole nother level than genetically modified foods because let's say with nanoparticles, you can take the actual carbon, hydrogen, nox, oxygen, nitrogen, put it together to where you can create a food molecularly because it's working on the at atomic and the molecular structure without having to grow it. In other words, you can do it without sunlight, without soil, and without water. How loving. How loving. You're right. But What's scary for me is reading over this, they even admit, you're showing mainstream articles about it, that there's regulations on GMOs, some on other things. This, there's nothing. They don't even do studies. They don't even know what it's going to do. That's the scary part because there's zero FDA oversight. There's zero USDA oversight. Imagine what these big eugenics-based companies are going to piggyback and Trojan horse. Every other smart thing they put out really has another agenda. What could the agenda be here? 
Well, I have right here from BioBased US that BASF is using it. Uh, they're they're trying to get a patent uh, filed right now, and it says it is more stable. And the killing capacity of the chemical, the herbicide, insecticide, or fungicide is optimized. So not only... So now they're coming out with, with, with nanotech fertilizer. Nanotech fertilizers and pesticides. And get this, Syngenta actually has uh, a product that is available right now, is a nanoparticle formula to grow food in a drought-resistant or a drought... Oh, with their chem trailing. Oh, and don't worry. I'm sure they're going to have nanotech baby milk. Mm. Your baby will die, but it's loving. No, I man, it's like now they admit the preemies are all dying getting the vaccines. They just go, fine, we're going to kill them. Loving, liberal, uh oh, shot, shot. I'm liberal, uh, die. We'll be back. Totalitarianism comes in many different flavors throughout history. It can come from the right wing, the left wing. It can come from religious cults. It can come from a foreign invading army. And in the modern 21st century, it's basically coming from political correctness, masquerading as the Renaissance, masquerading as liberalism. It seeks to shut down free speech. And the controlled globalist left has willing accomplices in the Republican Party and other conservative and libertarian organizations and groups throughout the world. The robber barons that control this planet are not free market. They are monopoly men who seek to have systems free of competition, controlled by offshore combines above the law. The main mission of Infowars.com and my 20 years on air is to shatter the left-right paradigm and to get the public to become aware of what's really governing and controlling society on a mass scale. Bottom line, we have reached that legendary, colossal moment in history where the next thousand years of human development, our very destiny is being decided. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. The first money bomb I've done in three years because we only do these if they're critical to be able to build up our infrastructure. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on UHF, VHF, and cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. Starting September 16th, through the 17th, we're going to broadcast live from 11 a.m. on the 16th through 2 p.m. on the 17th for 27 hours with an amazing lineup of guests, investigative journalists, documentary films, and more. We are seeking to raise a million dollars so that we can reach 400 million extra people potentially in the next year. Because if you do the math, and if you look at the numbers that we're already getting from affiliates and from the internet and from YouTube and from Facebook and all the platforms, we are reaching 20 million people a week. If you put all that together over a year, that's upwards of 200 million different individuals around the world is how the algorithm metrics come out. So I simply want to double that in the next 12 months after launching this money bomb. Just the satellites, the closed captioning under federal law and other regulations will cost us right at $39,000 a month, which if you add it together is over $400,000 a year alone. When you talk about cameras, crew, studio, million dollars is only a portion of what we need to do this. But it's an important part to ensure with the collapsing economy and the hard times we're going into, that we have the funds it takes to keep this beacon of truth, exposing globalism and dehumanization operating. So join us this September 16th and 17th for what I believe will be the final money bomb that InfoWars ever runs as we prepare to launch to the next and final level of global awakening. Because as Mahatma Gandhi famously said, First, they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. We are in that process of being massively attacked. And in the face, we're charging up, getting ready, and going in. Go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb for all the information.
And in closing, I want to say this to all of you patriots out there across the globe that have spread the word about our operation and that have supported us. History is happening right now. The destiny of humanity is being decided right now. And InfoWars, which you, the viewers and listeners and activists stand at the heart of, is the engine that has made all this possible. You're not standing behind the info war. You are standing at the center of it. You are right beside us in this fight. And I guarantee you, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Sam Adams would be incredibly proud of what you've done in defense of human freedom, in defense of true liberty. So from myself, Alex Jones, and the entire InfoWars crew, we salute you. Join us this September 16th and 17th for the 27-hour Money Bomb in defense of human liberty. By the way, we had a caller yesterday that mentioned some of his family had a preemie baby. I think he said, he said six plus months was fine, but they gave the baby the inoculations as they do um, a few hours after birth and the baby quit breathing and died. And we've had whistleblower nurses on about how they say, all right, we're being ordered to inoculate all these preemies. Get ready with the respirators. Get ready with the defibrillators and get ready for death. And they go in, they follow orders, they salute, and the injectors go. Um, this, this, this is the scientific packaging of slow death, soft kill, just getting us used to, oh, you know, one in 50 with autism. Now one in three, they say about 2025. And it's all just done. And the nurses, the doctors, they're compartmentalized. They don't know what's going on. But after a while, they go, hey, everybody dies when we do this, or they, or they almost die. Maybe we should stop this. Well, David Knight did an investigative report with a whistleblower about six months ago. I thought we should re-air that today in the fourth hour when Rob Dube and uh, others host the fourth hour today. They should re-air that and, and tie it in. You know, new Planned Parenthood video shows after-birth abortion. Because they're not just getting the babies in the womb now. They're getting them with the vaccines. And so if people have a premium, they need to know they're planning to kill your kid. And we're not joking with rhetoric. Just like we told you they sell their baby parts 20 years ago, and I told you they, they, they hold the baby up against the woman while they dissect it. They try to drug her because legally they can get felonies if, they, if the baby doesn't touch the woman. It's born now. And now it's a baby, not a fetus. But a lot of these facilities just take them in the back, keep them alive, put them on a breathing apparatus, and then last thing they take is the heart. Because you know, they want to get full dollar for those organs. They want to vivisect them properly. And you notice it's all in the news now. This is just part of what's beneath the surface. Meanwhile, nanotech, please continue, Dr. Group. Well, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I mean, this is something that is pretty scary as far as being able to create our own foods and nanoparticles. I did want to mention, though, because as I was doing my research, I wanted to see if there's been any statements by the Environmental Protection Agency uh, for Syngenta, the, the one that's using nanoparticles and the pesticides and herbicides right now. Love aside, or, not pesticides. Yeah. Or if there's been any uh, feedback from the U.S. government. And actually, uh, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency said a pesticide newly formulated as a nano emulsion would not require regulatory reexamination since it would not be a new chemical new chemical form, nor a significant new use. But, uh, but by definition, and the whole molecule's been changed. Exactly. Holy exactly. Toledo. So this, is a, this is a stealth way to get very damaging chem, uh, particles into the cell wall, which have been shown in, in trials, and you can pull this up on PubMed. As a matter of fact, here's an abstract right here. It goes through the cell wall. That it goes through the cell wall and the health complications. Or membrane especially damaging to the lungs, the spleen, causes an inflammatory response in the gut and also an inflammatory response in the body as a general. And Crohn's why, type diseases are epidemic all of a sudden. Inflammatory diseases are epidemic all of a sudden. Autoimmune diseases are epidemic. So it's just another God you know, thing that you need to be aware of and, and look out for. And even the, uh, the National Organic Program, we still allow... 
uh, nanoparticles to be used in organic foods. All right, stay there. The, you know the short segments at the end of the hour, the start of the hour. It's the clock we have. It's one of the standard ones. I hate it. Some stations 